Just like there are amazing brushes for organic sculpting in Nomad, there are also tools that are useful for hard surface modeling. In this video, we will look at tools to create common elements seen in hard surface modeling. Let's start with beveled edges. First, I'm gonna add a box, lower the division, and then I'm gonna mask these four corners with the cell mask tool. Invert and grab the gizmo and scale like this. Just like that, we have created beveled edges. Now you can edit the shape by masking and stretching horizontally and vertically with the gizmo. You can also create this kind of diagonal shapes pretty easily. I call this mask and scale technique. It allows you to work with low poly count, which is great for concepting phase when you are trying to figure out the overall shape and design. You can bevel like this as well. Once you are happy with the overall shape, you can move on to detailing. Right now, it looks good and clean, but it does not have enough polygons to add any kind of detail. So for more polygons, I'm gonna keep sharp edges, increase resolution, and voxel remesh. Right now the shape is solid, but I want to make it a hollow shape. For that, I'm gonna select the trim tool and the polygon. Enable grid and make sure snapping is enabled. The snapping allows you to keep the lines straight. Then I'm gonna edit the corners and match the outer shape. Once the shape is right, I'm gonna tap on the tiny green circle and it removes that area and creates a hollow shape. Similarly, you can use the split tool and its polygon selection tool to draw any shape like this. And that will split the geometry into two. Really useful. Then you can voxel remise the two shapes. And go to operation menu and increase the smooth value. Another common element is recessed surface. Like car door handles or fridge doors. For recessed surface, you can use the stamp brush, check the front facing vertex only, and enable sub, and then drag and draw. The surface is a bit curved. So go to alpha, fall off, and change it to 1. Now it's a completely flat surface. The shape is too big, so you can also edit the alpha like this by enabling scaling. Now the shape is perfect. Rounded corners are also pretty common in hard surface. 
So select the tube tool and using the path draw a line. Then enable profile. Maximize the window. Now add two points and tap on the middle one to make it rounded. Enable X and Y symmetry and all four corners are rounded. You can also edit them at the same time. Very convenient. Now increase the X and Y division values like before. And use the mask and gizmo to edit the shape. I'm going to add a little bevel here. There are other ways to create bevels, panels and everything shown in this video. So let me know in the comment if you guys want to see more videos on this topic. Then I'll make a series. So another quick and efficient way to create hollow shapes is by using face groups. Hide and delete these face groups and then draw a face group here with the rectangle selection. Hide and delete. Then mask the whole thing and extract with thickness. Simple and effective. You can still edit this shape and it's still low poly. So I'm gonna adjust the width. Then voxel remesh and smooth. Super clean. Panel line is an element that I think instantly elevates the design of your hard surface model. You can use the mask, invert the shape and then inflate it inwards. If the panel is thick. For thinner lines, I use crease brush. Increase the lazy rope stabilizer value. It helps to draw straight lines more easily. I'm quickly adding another solid shape with rounded corner using the same technique I showed earlier. and placing it here. Then go to PBR. Apply some basic metal materials. Play with the roughness value and apply them to the model. You can apply different materials to different parts too. So make sure to check out this playlist for more tutorials like this and subscribe if you found it useful. I will see you in the next video.